Yeah, does anyone have like a super obscure job? Yeah. Yeah, wh what do you do? Bindi farmer. A bindi farmer? Yeah. Is that how they make the Irwins? <laughs> the farmer for you pushed out a Steve and a Terry, you know? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, like a bindi's, a bindi in my head is like the things that prickle you. Yeah. That's why she doesn't like the wet grass. <laughs> Does anyone have a weird fear that they're willing to share? Wet grass! Dogs! <laughs> Wet grass? What's wrong with you? What, why? Because I'm scared of being my Yeah, but it's not a fear. Is it like, like you just, it's a fear? Yeah, I don't look at my face. I have fully clothed shoes. Fully clothed shoes. Yeah. Did you say clothed? Fully clothed? <laughs> <laughs> you got a little necklace on you, I think, uh, a little bow tie or something. Like, it's fully clothed and dressed up today. You know, smart casual, a little. <laughs> get a collar around. <laughs> dry grass, you're cool with? You just raw. You get. You get the dogs out of the on the dry grass. So, what's that's, a bindi? That's all me. Sorry. I'm her fear. That's all me. I grow bindis for a living. They don't grow in our local parks around here. So me and my old man have to spread them out. But why do no one wants bindies? Why are you growing these little things? They're like Lego, but nature when you step on them. Well, hang on, so I'm confused. There's, there's a market for bindies? The local council wants them, you know, on the grass. Then they up. want them on the grass? No wonder you don't like walking on the grass. I didn't realise your local council were just terrorising the parks. Just like, might as well get a bunch of thumbtacks and just <laughs> Fuck him. Like, do you sell them in boxes? No, no, I mean, like in drums, like 220 drums. <laughs> There's drums of, of, of these, oh what? Fuck you, dude. All right, no, Psychopaths, that's like when you find out someone like makes weapons for the military and you're like, how do you sleep at night, dude? And they sell them to like the Middle East. You're doing that shit, but it's localized terrorism. <laughs> Hang on, so they put them on the ground. Do you know why they do this? Yeah, I'll paint a picture. So you go on the hot road and then after you go on the hot road, you need to go to your nearest store and buy like some thongs or something like that. And it just leads on. So economy. Oh, it's a scam. It's for people like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, you should be afraid of wet grass. Is that seriously why? So they want, they just don't want people walking in the grass and being like, like, as in, is this like a scheme that's funded by like those weird souvenir stores that sell thongs at the front? Luke, I'm taking the piss. <laughs> Brother, I've been defeated by the king. <laughs> so you don't even, there's no... Is there even a bindi farm? What do you actually do? You know, pink, pink lady apples? You, uh, fuck off, I'm not going down this. I'm not going out here like this, so the government wants you to eat pink lady apples. They've got a chemical in them, right? It makes you afraid of wet grass. So do you actually just work at an apple farm? No, I'm a mechanic and support worker. <laughs> so you're a support worker? Well, you didn't support me. Oh man, you have way too much. You had way too much time today under a car, just on your back, like, oh, this will really fuck. <laughs> this will fucking get him, dude. You took us all on a journey, okay? Be honest, all of you. Give us a cheer if you thought the Biddy thing was real. Yeah. Oh my god, I think, but that's, dude. You just, uh, that's. I'll never get that four minutes back. But brother, I enjoyed every second of it. <laughs>